So you want to paint a chopper. Well, so did I. And that's exactly what we did here. Except I didn't paint this bike. Joel845 painted this bike. Check him out on Instagram, it was wicked. Um, I actually met Joel through YouTube, this YouTube channel. He originally reached out through my TC Bros oil tank video and I went on his Instagram and I was like, yo, this guy's awesome. So I had him paint this set of tins for me, my fuel tank and my fender. He was kind enough to film a portion of how he did it. So I'm gonna include that in this video as well. But also, right there in the background is Kyle Shovelhead. We painted that all from scratch right here. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly how we did it. And you know, I'm not a professional by any means, but I think it came out pretty cool. So if you learn anything from this video, it's just, you know, have fun. Peace. All right, so here's the deal. La Spada is in less than one month and we gotta get Kyle's bike done. And we're making good headway on that right now because we're starting the paint and primer process, baby. I already got the tank all primered up, fender all primered up. Now we just gotta work on El Framo right here, oh. Got all the Bond Dizzy done. Really did make us pretty dizzy. Frame primer, donezo. I didn't film much of this base coat process, but this is the color we chose for the base coat. It's really, really dark, but it's got some red in it. Pretty cool. All right, check it out. I got this matte base coat all lined up on here, all laid out. I was messing around with some vinyl flames, Kyle and some flames on this tank. So I'm going to take this pencil, I'm going to draw some flames on, and then uh, hopefully it looks good. <laughs> okay. After filming like literally the worst time lapse ever, this is how the flames came out. You can see my uh, thought process over there on the right. But um, yeah, time to lay out some lines with this green tape I got over here and then paint her up. All right, so I got these bad Larry flames all taped up here, all lined up, all nice and good. Believe it or not, that's actually got red in it. Looks pretty black, but it's got red in it. Anyways, I'm going to... Uh, Paint these flames on there now. Let's do another lap. One more. One more lap. Ooh, boom. Also got the fender all taped up with these flames here. I'm actually super stoked on how these flames laid out with the with the lines. We're gonna paint some off white over top of these tins. So I'm mixing Kyle's top coat right now. And honestly, dude, this looks like it wants to be a milkshake almost. Or like it looks like it would at least taste good. But I'm not gonna fall for that trap, okay? First coat of white, check. Ooh. Right. Everybody loves a good painting tape peel. I'm gonna try to get this here. Go slow with it. This is way too hard to do one-handed. Okay, sorry I couldn't get that all in one go. Um, also, problemo. Admittedly, ran into a bit of an oopsie during the paint pool. Oh, look at that. That is no bueno. So we're going to have to fix that up, cover it up. Unless Kyle wants it to look cool and vintage like that. But other than that, yeah, we're going to fix her up. Either way, it's pretty wicked. I like it. Now I gotta paint the frame white and then clear coat everything. Well, here's where Kyle's rig sits before clear coat. And uh, dang, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm, give, I'm giving up on trying to see the red in the flames, but you know, they say there's red in there. There might not be, there might be. Anyways, yeah. I mean, it's looking awesome. Super good, super clean. Um, I'm super happy with the way this is coming out so far. I'm gonna paint a design on the top of Kyle's fuel tank. And after that, off the clear coat she goes, and then final assembly. But yeah, I mean, this is just gonna be a super, super slick bike, so stay tuned. So I'm sitting here on the couch now, and Kyle wanted something hand-painted on the top of his fuel tank. So uh, he sent me some reference photos, and I came up with this design ultimately. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how I painted on the top of the fuel tank. Basically, this is just the drawing that I came up with, and um, the process is going to be, I'm going to print this out, 
flip it, mirror the image, and then stencil it essentially, paste it onto the tank, and then start painting it. Here's my process for how I'm gonna transfer this design to the fuel tank over there. I, um, I don't have anything to prove with freehanding anything onto anywhere, so I just printed out the design and I got a piece of transfer paper here. I'm gonna draw it and then transfer it right to the top of the fuel tank. That way I know that everything is exactly how I made it originally and nothing is different. So once I get all these lines crisped up, it's gonna go right on top of the tank over yonder. All right, so I just wrapped up transferring the stem, so I'll take it off and show you guys what it looks like. Um, it's never perfect, but it's obviously enough to get the job done. So that's what we're working with there. And next thing, I gotta break out the paints and get everything all lined. Alrighty, after a little while of fucking around, I finally got this all tidied up. <coughs> Excuse me, and Natalie's here. Hi. That was a burp. It sure was. Anyways, time to just clean up a few little smudges on here and then send the whole thing off to clear coat. Shebang. So I've got the tins here just working on them, but when I clear coat this thing, I really want to try to do that cracked paint effect like Joel did in my shovel head. So here's my test subject that I've made for it. And uh, she be cracking. All right, here we go. This is the first time Kyle's seen his tins. Oh, very sick. So sick. Can I touch it? I want Wicked, check it out. Remember how I said I was gonna do the cracked thing? She cracked. Um, they're very, very small cracks though. But you can see them through the paint there, just like that. Let me go show you my show head real quick. The cracks on this battle area are far more significant. I haven't really mastered the technique, but the theory is there, I feel. Anyways, it looks cool. It looks cool. So we're gonna we're gonna rock with it. We're rocking with Mark, because Mark rocks with us.